God church is protection. But churches that's not set up by God and don't have God's word will take you through that. Tell you that God's done the honest truth. All of us got some type of experience of being in something that was not of God. See, all of us got that experience and got a testimony behind what God has brought you and I through. It's a blessing to come through. You know, a lot of people say, well, I'm, I'm going through this and I'm going through that, but they ain't paying attention to what they're saying. They're going through. See? And it's a blessing when God brings you through something. God don't drag you through nothing, but he'll walk you through. Whatever you're going through, that purpose of him walking you through. So, my God, you can understand. One scripture is saying, all thy giddy. In all of thy giddy. So I'm saying, well, all, all that happened to me is bad stuff. But the Bible still said, in all of thy giddy. Get understanding. Amen. See? Listen to what Deacon Twin is getting ready to read. Romans chapter 15. Pay close <laughs> attention to what Deacon is getting ready to read. Mm -hmm. At verse 1. Uh -huh. We then that are strong mm -hmm. ought to bear the infirmities of the weak mm -hmm. and not to please ourselves. You see what, you see what Deacon's reading? We then. See, why, why did the scripture say we then? Because you're not always strong. We then at that time ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not for ourselves. Because you're not always strong. You may be strong today and need help tomorrow. Strong today and need help this evening. Amen. See? Because you and I don't know what's coming our way. But we do know we got an African with the Father. <laughs> and Amen. his name is Jesus the Christ. And Amen. we're able to go to him. Why? Because he understands it's nothing you can I, you and I can take to him that he don't understand. Amen. A lot of things we try to take to people, my God, sometimes they look at us like we done lost our mind. They look at us like this, it's not happening. But my God, there's nothing that you are going through that you cannot go to Jesus with. Amen. My God, he got an ill faith. What did the scripture say, Dick? We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Uh-huh. And not to please ourselves. Not to please ourselves, not to pat ourselves on the back like we've done something great. We ain't done nothing but the will of God. Amen. This is the will of God that Dick is reading. What did the scripture say, Dick? Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Uh-huh. For even Christ pleased not himself. <laughs> he didn't please himself. But Dying as on it, the cross. Amen. Folks spitting on him. Folks talking down on him. That wasn't pleasing to him. He didn't please himself. And the scriptures say. But as it is written. Uh -huh. The reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Uh -huh. Were written for our learning. It's written. For our learning. So how in the world can people not pay attention to this? Amen. Read that again, D. For whatsoever things were written whatsoever aforetime. Whatsoever things are written aforetime, aforetime is in here. This wasn't just written this morning. It's been written. For we got here, it was written. And D is reading the scripture where it says, whatsoever things that are written aforetime, were written for our learning. It's written for us. Amen. Uh huh. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, you've got to read it, and then you have to have patience. See, the God that we serve, my God, he, he, He's our own time God, but He move on His time. Amen. He don't move on yours. Amen. He don't move on mine. He move on His time. Wonder why He's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. 
One scripture say, after you have suffered a while, make ye what? Perfect. See? Let me say, well, uh, you know, it, it don't seem like suffering will make you perfect. Yes, it will. All of the whippings that you and I have took when we were little coming up, didn't it help us? Huh? We still here. We still living. We got all our limbs, you know. We, we thought that we wouldn't make it through it, but we, we, we made it. And it helped us. We didn't do that no more. What did the scripture say, Dick? For whatsoever things were, were written aforetime were written for our learning. Uh -huh. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Uh -huh. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one towards another according to Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. That ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God. Uh -huh. Even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Wherefore receive ye one another, mm -hmm. as Christ also received us to the glory of God. My, 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 my. Didn't, didn't he receive us? My God, he didn't look down on us. Amen. He received us. He received us just the way we were. But the thing of it is, just the way we was, we couldn't stay the way we were. That, see, that any man in Christ, he's what? A new creature. Was, oh, therefore, he had to change us. He had to change us, see? And in the midst of changing us, we had to give up something. Anybody that's followed Christ, you got to give up something. You're going to have to give up something. See? You're going to have to. Listen, he gave up something. Some may say, well, what did he give up? He gave his life. And the thing of it is, we have to ask ourselves, what are we willing to give up? Amen. Anybody following Christ, you're going to have to give up something. You're just going to have to. Why? Because, listen, you can't go in the kingdom any kind of way. To my sad regret, brothers and sisters, the religious world, thank God, 80% of the religious world is trying to go in the kingdom of God any kind of way. You got some people, my God, religious, they say they're religious, they say they know the Lord, and they say they hooked to the Lord. They want to go to the kingdom with their cigarettes. They want to go to the kingdom with their drink, with their drinks, with their beer, their liquor, their weed. They want to go in there all kind of ways. They want to go to the kingdom of God with their attitudes, with their hatred, with their unforgiveness. You can't get in there like that. See? You can't get in there like that. Romans chapter 6. Listen at what Deacon's read. Romans chapter 6. Uh-huh. At verse 6. Uh-huh. Knowing this. Knowing this. This that our old man is crucified with him. He got he, listen. He got to be crucified. That the body of sin you, might be destroyed. You got to put that old man on that cross and crucify him. Huh? And the scripture say that henceforth we should not serve sin. Uh huh. For he that is dead is freed from sin. You see what I'm saying? See a lot of. People, religious people, to my sad regret, don't know the will of God. Amen. You may ask yourself, well, why we got all of these churches and all these different religions and this, this people believe this and this people believe that. Listen, a lot of people don't know the will of the Lord. One scripture said, knowing what the will of the Lord is. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't even know what church is for. Don't know what church is about. Don't know the purpose of it. But see, the God that we serve is a God of purpose. Amen. He didn't say anything. He didn't do anything without a purpose. See? And what is the purpose of all of this? What is the purpose of God calling you and I out of darkness? What is the purpose? See? Certainly he didn't call us out of darkness to the marvelous light to go back in darkness and call us for that. See? So we have to find out the purpose behind the calling of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the purpose is in the Bible. It's in there. Some may say, well, I really want to know why I was called and what my purpose is. Let's get the book of St. John, Dayton. 15th chapter of the book of St. John, and at the first verse. 
<clears throat> Let's deal with the purpose of all that. The purpose of going to church. The purpose of reading our Bible. The purpose of seeking God. The purpose of praying. The purpose of looking to God to offer and the finish of our faith. The purpose of it. The scriptures say. Romans chapter. John chapter 15, verse 1. Uh huh. I am the true vine. What, what, what did he say, D? I am the true vine. Listen, listen. Look in your Bible and see how big that I is. See how big that I is? I ain't looked in your Bible. I got my Bible. See? D got his Bible. See? We, we up here, we ain't looked in nobody's Bible but our own. And I'm saying, look how big that I is. Look how big that capital I is. What did he say, D? I am the true vine. I am the true vine. Now, why did he say he's the true vine? To say that he's the true vine, that means it's some vines out here that's not true. Amen. See, there's some vines out here that's not true. That's the reason why Jesus said, I am the true vine. I know you've been hearing that there's a true vine over there and there's a true vine over here and there's a true vine out there. And, you know, but Jesus said, I am the true vine. See? Now, <clears throat> when the scripture say that he is the true vine, that lets us know there's some false vines out here. It's some vines that appear to be vines. But in reality, they're not. They're not vines. They look like vines. That's the reason why the Bible said we walk by faith and not by sight. They look like vines. Just as well as they got fake stuff out here. See? They got fake tennis shoes. You got polo tennis shoes and you got fake polo tennis shoes. You got Jordan tennis shoes, and you got fake Jordan tennis shoes. See? But in reality of it, the real got something that the fake don't have. Other than that, you wouldn't be able to tell it. You wouldn't be able to tell if Jesus was the true vine if he didn't do what he do and done what he done and said what he said and be able to tell. That's the reason why he said, I am the true vine. And listen to what he's saying. I am the true vine. Mm -hmm. And my father is the husbandman. Okay. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. What? Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. These things are written aforetime for our learning. What do God want us to learn by? Listen, there are things in you and I that needs to be took away. Huh? There are things in you and I and the religious world and everyone that's calling on the name of the Lord Jesus needs to be took away. Amen. That's what is illustrating. Needs to be took away. And in the midst of taking it away, you got to give it up. Got to give it up. Time when I'm teaching, my God, I come in and Deke, I thank God for Deke. Deke does a beautiful job. And not just Deke, for other brothers and sisters, does a beautiful job. But sometimes Deke hands me the mic because I forget. I, for, I forget all, I come up here without the mic. See? And Deke will hand me the mic. Well, I, 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 I take my hand out to give it, but now he got to give it up. He got to let it go for me to get it. <clears throat> See? Amen. Same way when it comes to God. God will take it away, but he ain't going to wrestle you down to the ground to take it. See? You, you won't get in a fist fight with him trying to take something that don't purpose you nothing. What does the scripture say, Dick? Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. He, he taketh away. Mm -hmm. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it. Notice, take inventory of yourselves. And you see how far you have came in Christ. He took a lot of things away from us. So I may say, well, where did he put it? Listen, 
coax me. He took it away from me. That's all I know. He took it away. I'm going to say, where's that? I, it, it don't matter. Long as it ain't with me. Huh? All right. He took drinking away from me. And I ain't trying to see where he put it. See, I ain't trying to search. Wonder, wonder where is that? Wonder. He took it away from me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise your name. See? <clears throat> so when he takes things away from us, it's to help us. And what is the purpose of it all? We got a date with God. We got a date with God. That's what this is all about. Me being up here, you being out there, Deke being up here reading the scriptures. And he does a beautiful job. But we all got a date with God. Amen. And you won't be late. So I may say, huh? <laughs> you won't be late. You're going to be on time. Amen. You won't reschedule. You won't cancel it. See? We got a date, appointment with God. Because we got to stand before him. And the purpose of church, the purpose of all of this, is to be clean. We want to be clean of things that ain't prospering us nothing. Amen. That's what Jesus is talking about here. He's talking to the disciples and he's also talking to us. We are disciples. We're followers. What did the book say, Dick? Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. He, he taketh away. Mm -hmm. and, and every branch that beareth fruit, mm -hmm. he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. The good about you, he, he purges it. And notice, it brings forth more fruit. Amen. The more good you do, the more good you want to do. What's going on? You ain't purging. He purging. It's his, it's his work. And the scriptures say, Now ye are clean. Through the word which I have spoken unto you. What? Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. I thought the preacher cleaned you up. No, sir. Huh? This is the mentality of a lot of religious world. They looking for the preacher to clean them up. And the preacher can't clean them up because he need cleaning. He eat up the sins. You got to have something to clean you up. Even in the natural, when we get in the tub, we, listen, water is good, but you're going to need something to clean you. <laughs> Sometimes, my God, we get in the tub and there ain't no soap. Sometimes I have to ask Sister Kevin, what is, hey, give, give me a bar of soap. Sometimes she asks me, hey, Clyde, look in there and give me a bar of soap. Need something to clean. Now see, let me tell you something. In the midst of being clean, even in the natural, everything make bubbles. I ain't a cleaning thing for you. You can't say, well, it make bubbles. See? <laughs> Ajax make bubbles. Acid make bubbles. See? So everything that Makes bubbles, or you see bubbles, that, ain't, that, that don't mean you can wash in. Just as well as everyone talking about they preaching Christ. Everyone that said they're coming out of here because they open it and read, that don't mean they're coming out of here. Amen. See, that don't mean they're coming out of that. So Jesus is illustrating, and Jesus is letting his people know, listen, I'm the true vine. Amen. And he goes on to say, every branch in me that don't bring forth fruit, God, the husband man takes it away. Notice, even when it comes to the natural, a natural tree, it notice, it let go branches. And it also let go leaves. What's the purpose? The branches ain't doing the tree no good. The tree, it's about life. And anything dead got to come off of it. 
That's why you see branches on, you know, you see a tree, you're going to see branches. You're going to see leaves that the tree done let go. And then new branches come. <laughs> and then the tree nourishes it. And it brings forth fruit. Something dead can't bring nothing because it's dead. Amen. That's why the tree let it go. That's why if you ain't careful, you know, uh, standing under some trees, some, sometimes branches will come down upon you. Why? What done happened? The tree done let it go. What did the scripture say, Dick? Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now you are clean through the word that I have, Jesus said that he spoken unto. Now, my thing is, how is people clean without God's word? Amen. And you can't take his word and add to it, you won't be clean. You can't take away from his word, you won't be clean. See, Jesus said, now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. And the scriptures say, Abide in me, mm -hmm. and I in you, mm -hmm. as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. You see what I'm saying? That's the reason why the branch couldn't stay on the tree. The tree is the source of the branch. So what, what, what am I saying? Jesus is the source of our lives. Amen. That's what I'm saying. That's Amen. what I'm saying. <clears throat> He's the source of our lives. We live and breathe and have our being in him. Amen. He's the source of us. Can okay, nobody in here or nowhere in the world tell me what they done to get up this morning. You can't tell me. You even can't tell me right now. What are you doing to make your heart beat? Can't tell me. What are you doing for your eyes to see? You can't tell me. What are you doing that your tongue is able to talk and your mouth is able to move? What are you doing? You can't tell me. Amen. So the scripture go on to say, Abide in me uh -huh. and I in you. Uh -huh. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, Except it abide in the vine. That's the only way that branch is going to bear fruit. And that's the only way the children of God is going to bear fruit. You have to abide in Jesus. Scripture say, Abide in me and I in you. Uh -huh. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, uh -huh. except it abide in the vine, uh -huh. no more can ye, mm -hmm. except ye abide in me. Mm -hmm. And the scripture say, I am the vine. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Ye are the branches. Uh, okay. He that abideth in me, mm -hmm. and I in him, mm -hmm. the same bringeth forth much fruit. Mm -hmm. For without me, ye can do nothing. Now, how is these people doing something without him? Amen. Somebody Amen. said, well, this man got a large congregation. Listen, <laughs> what is he doing? Well, he got a lot of people following him. Read that again, D. Abide in me. It ain't about how many people. God is after souls. God ain't after people. God is after souls. It was the people that crucified the Son of God. Amen. God is after souls. <clears throat> See? A false prophet can gather. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> More going to the lake than it is to the kingdom. Amen. You can't judge whether a thing is right by the crowd. Can't judge whether it's right or wrong. According to the scripture, few there be. Amen. God ain't dealing with but a few people. I'm just telling you all over the world, God ain't dealing with but a few people. That's why the fight is so great. Because he ain't dealing with everybody. You run into more people that don't know the things of God than those who know the things of God. You Amen. go on your job and you t start talking about the things of God from the Spirit of God and you're going to have a fight. By those that say 
They connected to God. <laughs> what did the scripture say, Dick? Verse 5. Uh -huh. I am the vine. Uh -huh. Ye are the branches. Uh -huh. He that abideth in me and I in him, uh -huh. the same bringeth forth much fruit. Uh -huh. For without me, ye can do nothing. Without me, ye can do nothing. If a man abide in abide not in me, uh -huh. he is cast forth as a branch. Ah, my Lord. He's cast forth as a branch. And is withered. And he, he going to wither. Why? Because he ain't abiding in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And men gather them mm -hmm. and cast them into the fire. Mm -hmm. And they are burned. My Lord. How many of us have ever gathered sticks and burnt them? That's what the Bible says, that's what happens. See, that's what happens. Even in the natural, sometimes you go to cut on things and nothing happens. Then you know you got troubleshoot. And you know the first thing you do, you check the wire. For what? See, is it plugged up to the source? See, you got to be plugged up to Jesus. Amen. <laughs> you got to be plugged up to him. You see, you, you, you see people acting certain ways and, and they believe this and they believe that. Rest for sure, they ain't plugged up to him. Just like in the natural, if the TV or whatever appliance is plugged up, you, you'll see some light. It'll come Amen. on. It'll come on. See? So you have to troubleshoot. And you go to pulling on wires and if you pull a wire out and it come all the way out and you got the head of it in your hand, huh? Daddy. Like they used to say in the club. Ooh, daddy. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> Plug it up. See what you got. See? 90% of the time, that's the problem. Ain't plugged up. Amen. See? And this is what Jesus is saying. We have to stay connected to him. Why? Because we can't bear fruit on our own. We can't do good things on our own. No, sir. We just ain't going to do it. By nature, we are the children of corruption. Amen. That's by that's nature. Right. That's our nature. See, that's the reason why we've done so much craziness <laughs> in our lives, because that was how we followed our nature. See? That's why we've done a whole lot of stuff that didn't make sense. Yeah. Nature. But when Christ came along, some may say, well, what happened? My God, listen, old things passed away. And listen, to stay in Christ, old stuff about you and I going to continue to pass away Amen. until we get out of here. The Bible said judge nothing before it's time. Apostle Paul come along and say, I die what? Daily, not Amen. monthly. Amen. Not yearly. Daily. If Paul was still living today, he'll still be dying. Huh? He'll still be dying. See? This is what this is about. You die daily. Die out. Those things that don't prosper you, let God take them. Let God take them. But you got to, you got to let it go. Got to let it go. And this is what my sad regret, this is what basically a lot of the religious world don't want to do. They don't want to let go that false teaching. They don't want to let it go. The woman preacher don't want to say, God ain't called me. Amen. God, God ain't called me. See, you got to let it go. You got to let it go. See, got to let it go. See, that man don't want to say, God ain't called me to preach. Amen. God ain't called me to do this stuff. Have to let it go. Amen. See, have to let it go. <clears throat> If you don't let it go, the Bible tell on you. The Bible will tell on you. It's just like calling someone to come do plumbing work that claim they 
work for a company and they know plumbing. And they come and you show them the pipes. And here they go back to the truck. Okay, I, I take care of it. They go back to the truck and they grab a flame torch. Wrong. And they head it. See, first of all, they, they done grabbed the wrong thing. Now. Wrong See, they, they, done wrong, they, they done grabbed the wrong equipment. See, and they head it to the gas line, D. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> they head it to the gas line. <laughs> now, it don't take a rocket scientist. We, we don't need to go in prayer. You, you, you follow what I'm saying, Carl? You know, something seriously getting ready to happen. See, he needs to be stopped. See, first of all, number one, he grabbed the wrong equipment. Number two, he got into the wrong pipe. Every pipe you see is not a water line. No, sir. Some pipes are gas lines. But he don't know the difference. This is the way it is with false prophets. The word tells on them. He'll let you know. <laughs> Jesus said, I I'm the true vine now. And I'm going to tell you how it go. This is what Jesus is telling his people. I'm going to tell you how it go. <laughs> and if any come behind me, they got to go in the pattern that I've laid down. See? They got to follow the same foundation that was laid. They can't go and lay another foundation. So the man gone with the flame, and he's getting ready to cut the gas line with the flame pipe. Ain't, ain't no time, Father God. We come. Ah, uh, uh, you you gonna come? Now, you finna come? <laughs> you, you finna come? You be standing right before him. Say, no, you gotta stop him. Whoa, man, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know? That's right. Huh? You don't want me to fix that? <clears throat> Why? I see you don't know what you're doing. Amen. That's the way people have to be when it comes to church. <clears throat> That's the way people have to be when it comes to their soul. Amen. You see that man ain't in that book. You see that man is in another book. See, let me tell you something. We got a date with God. We got an appointment with God. Everybody that was born, everybody that's in the world is going to stand before God. Everybody. Amen. Don't ask me when. I don't know when, but I know it's happening. It's going to happen. I know that because the word of God goes out and don't come back void. There wasn't no gal found in his mouth, so it's going to happen. Amen. See, it's going to happen. See, and we got to stand before God. See, ain't no time to be running behind something or somebody that don't know God. Amen. Ain't hooked up. See, Ella Murray, he gets a lot of fights from people that's not hooked up. They said he is. See, every vine that's wrapped around a tree Ain't connected to the tree. No, sir. Some vines you get to pull in on, <laughs> it'll come on off. But it's around that tree. But the tree been turned it loose. That's the same way it is when it comes to the word. People shouldn't be fighting. Shouldn't be fighting. Elmer shouldn't be going through the fights that he's, you know, it's the word. Amen. The word. You and I shouldn't be going through what we go through, but we have to. Why? Because it's a dog world. Amen. <clears throat> and Jesus is the light of it. See, he's the light of the world. See? So in the midst of people sitting, and listening to men that's going the opposite way of God. Meaning they're not connected. You've got to be connected to Jesus. Amen. 
Some religion say, well, listen, I want to be connected to God. I want to go to God. You can't go to God. No, sir. Wonder why? Because he sent his son. Amen. See, he sent his son. See, he sent Amen. his son. Salvation is in his son. Well, I thought God was going to save me. He is through his son. That's how he's doing it, through his son. But if you reject the son, there ain't no salvation. Amen. No salvation. See? This is how God worked. God worked through people. God worked through things. And God decided to work through his son. He put everything... In his son. Amen. See? And he told us, heal him. This is my beloved son, who I'm not pleased with. He didn't say that. He didn't talk like that. No, he said, who I'm well <clears throat> pleased with. Hear him. And folk don't want to hear. They don't want to hear. They don't go to the top. I, I, God. It's just like in the natural, being on a job. Supervisor come and bring you your check. You don't want it from the supervisor. You want the head man to give it to you. When I was working years ago, before I come off the job, I was about 50, 51, before I come off the job, years ago they used to walk around and bring the check. You couldn't tell them, I, I, I want the head man. No, sir. They in New York, D. You see how it don't make sense? They were in New York. We here in Alabama. Do I expect for the man to get on a plane and come here and hand me a check that the supervisor can? He, he, the supervisor is working for the big man. You follow what I'm saying? It's coming from the big man, but it's coming through the supervisor. What's the problem? We don't see problems with that. Second Nobody Peter. do that. Listen at what Deacon's read. Second Peter chapter one mm -hmm. at verse 17. Uh-huh. At verse 16. Uh-huh. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. Uh-huh. When we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. But were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Mm -hmm. For he received from God the Father honor and glory. Okay. Mm -hmm. When there came su such a voice to him mm -hmm. from the excellent glory, mm -hmm. this is my beloved son, mm -hmm. and whom I am well pleased. Uh -huh. And this voice which came from heaven we heard mm -hmm. when we were with him in the holy mount. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> see? That voice came. And he said, I, I hear him. See? This is my beloved son. See, whom I'm well pleased. I I'm pleased with him. See, that's something. You know, the father's pleased with his son, but the world is not. That's something else. The father said he well pleased with him. And then he come to the world, and the world ain't pleased with him. See, they crucified him. They killed him. Amen. And that's the reason why the children of God are supposed to be getting themselves together. They're supposed to be getting clean. Why? Because, you know, something is coming. And this world got to stand before God for murder. Amen. Even in the natural, who would go to court for murder without an attorney? Nobody. They gonna get an attorney. Even the courts will appoint you one. See? Acts chapter 3. Listen at what Deke is reading. Acts chapter 3. At verse 14. And at verse 14. But ye denied the Holy One and the just. Okay. Mm -hmm. And desired a murderer to be granted unto you. Uh-huh. And killed the prince of life. Uh-huh. Whom God hath raised from the dead. Mm-hmm. Whereof we are all witnesses. Yeah, you see, he raised him. You, you know, you thought you were doing away with him, but 
God raised him back. You know, three days he come back. Amen. So, you know, according to the scripture, he laid down his life. Amen. He laid down his life. They didn't take it. He laid it down. Amen. It's a different than taking something and somebody laying it down. He laid it down. Then three days, he came back. But some religions say he ain't come back. That was the father came back. Well, yes, my question is, where did the father go for him to come back? See? I mean, to come back, you, you got to go somewhere. But where did the father go for him to come back? See? It's nothing but a scheme to get Jesus out the way. That's all it is. Where the man could be worshipped. See? And no man alive is worthy. See? No man alive is worthy. All honor goes to our Lord and Savior. Amen. We honor him as we honor the Father. What does the scripture say, Dick? John chapter 20. Uh-huh. At verse 15. Uh-huh. Jesus saith unto her, uh -huh. Woman, why weepest thou? Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? Who, who, who are you looking for? Mm -hmm. She supposed him to be the gardener. Uh -huh. Saith unto him, Sir, Sir, if thou have borne him hence, uh -huh. tell me where thou hast laid him. Listen, where you laid him at? And I will take him away. And I, I get him. You just show me where you laid him at. And I get him. Jesus saith unto her, uh -huh. Mary. Mary. She turned herself and saith unto him, uh -huh. Rabboni, uh -huh. which is to say master. Master. Jesus saith unto her, uh -huh. touch me not, for I have not yet ascended to my father. Don't touch me. I, I need to ascend to my father. Mm -hmm. But go to my brethren and say unto them, uh -huh. I ascend unto my father and your father uh -huh. and to my God and your God. Uh-huh. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord uh -huh. and that he had spoken these things unto her. Uh -huh. The same, Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, mm -hmm. came Jesus and stood in the midst and saith unto them, uh -huh. Peace be unto you. My God, doors are shut. Doors are shut. And he come in the midst of them. See? It wasn't the father that was talking to Mary. Amen. Huh? Amen. It was the son. Amen. It wasn't the father. That wasn't the father talking to her. That was the son. See? And the son told her to go tell his brother. Amen. Not the father. Father didn't tell her to go do it. The son told her to do it. See? It was the son that called her name, Mary. Amen. And she recognized, wow, that's the master. That's the Lord. It wasn't the father, because no man has seen God at any time. Amen. What you mean, any time? <laughs> Old Testament and New Testament. This is the time here. These things are written for time for our learning. Amen. No man has seen the Father. See? So for people to be saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, they got to be connected to Jesus. Amen. There's no other way. Without him, you and I or anybody else could do nothing. Amen. That's the word. It don't matter about how many people follow. Let me tell you something. When I left where I was, people were flooding to come in. And we had to, so to speak, get out the way. They were rolling in. <coughs> when they got to rolling in, excuse me, gone. I couldn't base my decision upon, look at all these people coming. Amen. And I'm talking about leaving. All these people coming. 
All these people that don't know. People that don't know. People that haven't seen what I've seen. People that don't know what I know. Take inventory of yourself. The places that you have left. The people that you have dissociated yourself with because you seen something. You heard something. God dealt with you about something. And he don't deal with everybody. He ain't talking to everybody. He ain't showing everybody the things that he have showed you. Now that don't make you a preacher or a prophet. Amen. Because God can deal with you and you don't have to be a preacher or a prophet or an evangelist. Amen. Amen. Blessed are your eyes. You don't have to be an apostle. You don't have to be a bishop. You don't have to be a deacon for God to deal with you and show you something. He'll make himself known unto you. Amen. And when he make himself known unto you, you cannot walk away and ignore what he has revealed unto you. Amen. Some may say, well, my family don't understand. That's all right. Amen. My dad don't understand. My mom don't understand. My brothers and sisters don't understand. That's all right. Amen. <clears throat> He dealing with you. Amen. He talking to you. Amen. He's opening up your understanding. He's showing you things to come. He's showing you his word. Amen. He's showing it to them. And if you set in judgment about who he's showing you and who he ain't showing you, you'll be lost. It's like going in the woods. Are you hunting? Are you just sitting in the woods doing something? And you see something that's horrible. <clears throat> and it's coming your way. And it could be three or four with you. And you come by them and say, listen, I see something. And they say, what you talking about? Man, listen, we need to get up out of here. And they don't believe you. What you going to do? You got to go. You got to go. Amen. You're not going to stay there because they don't believe what you say. You're not going to stay there because they ain't seen what you Amen. see. You got to go. That's the way it is when it comes to this. Religion. This is true religion. Jesus said, I'm the true vine. I know you done run across a lot of vines out here, but Jesus said, I'm the true vine. Amen. I know you done run across a lot of stuff. Folks saying this and folks saying that. My God, but the Bible said, try the spirit. See whether they be of God or not. Some may say, well, how can I try the spirit? My God, try by God's word. Because let me tell you something. The devil can duplicate a lot of things. But the devil cannot live all that. He cannot be sanctified. He cannot be Holy Ghost filled. He can duplicate a lot. But he's not going to live this life. That's one thing he's not going to do. He ain't going to live this life. He'll slip and slide. Have you to think that he's living something. And he ain't living nothing. Matthew. <clears throat> Listen to what Deacon's read. Matthew chapter 7. Uh huh. And verse 13. Uh huh. Enter ye into, enter ye in at the straight gate. Come on in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. That church that got all those people, millions of people. My God, listen, it's a possibility, strong possibility. It's the destruction. Huh? Amen. I'm not going to say large, all large crowds is nothing but destruction. I'm not going to no, say that. No, sir. But there's a strong possibility. Most of the large crowds you see going the opposite way of God. Amen. 
What did the scripture say, D? Enter ye in at the straight gate. Come on in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way. Broad. That, broad is that way. Uh-huh. That leadeth to destruction. Uh-huh. And many there be which go in therein. Many. That's the reason why I had to stand to the side. Because many were coming in that broad way. And my God, I'm trying to get out of that. Why? My God, I got to get on the narrow road. I got to get on a straight road. See, I, I got to go somewhere where they ain't doing everything. I got to go somewhere Amen. where they believe in God. Amen. Why? I got a date with God. Amen. I got some cleaning up to do. Glory to God. I got some cleaning up to do. And can't nobody clean me up but Jesus. Amen. Mama can't do it. My daddy can't do it. My Amen. brothers and sisters can't do it. I come out of a family of 13 and neither one of them could clean me up. No, sir. No, sir. I got to get connected to Amen. Jesus. If I could just get connected to him. Amen. My God, he'll clean me up. My God, he'll show me myself. He'll show me what needs to be taken away from me. My God, so I can prosper. He'll show me, my God, what I need to do to get into the kingdom of God. He won't clean me up with alcohol. He won't clean me up by blowing smoke on me. He won't do Amen. none of that. He'll clean me with his word. Amen. We need to be clean. By his word. Can't know any word, do it. Can't know any word, do it. Folk can say things. My God, and try to project things. But my God, it's going to take the word of God to do it. Amen. It's going to take the word of God to do it. The Bible said in the book of Romans, not the book of Romans, the book of Revelation. 20th chapter of the book of Revelation and at the 12th verse. Let's listen at what the Bible is saying. Verse 12. Uh-huh. And I saw the dead, uh -huh. small and great, uh -huh. stand before God. Stand before who, D? Before God. No, stand before your daddy. Before God. Stand before your mama. Before God. See, let me tell you something. Kin folks will try to clean you up. Kin folks will try to say you all right. But listen at what the Bible said. Listen at what Deke is reading from the Bible. This is what's going to happen. And that I stuff saw your dad and mom talking about, your uncles and your aunts talking about, that ain't going to happen. This going to happen. What's going to happen, Deke? And I saw the dead, uh -huh. small and great, uh -huh. stand before God. Uh -huh. And the books were opened. What? And the books were opened. Spell a book, Deke. B-O-O-K-S. Okay, the books were open. <laughs> and the books were open. Uh -huh. And another book what? was opened. Another one is open. So you know what that let me know? God is keeping record. That's the reason why the rich man asked, you know, uh, Abraham, listen, Amen. if you could get Lazarus to, to come over here, and you'll see, that was nothing but a parable. It was an illustration of kingdom. Amen. See, if you could just get Lazarus to come over here and just put his fingers in the water and put it on my tongue because I'm in torment. Abraham told me, I can't do that. Can't do he said, well, okay, if you could get him to go to my father's house, I got five brothers. No, I can't Amen. do that either. Let him listen to the prophet. Amen. See? And let me know a book of remembrance is going to be open. Amen. And the scriptures say. And another book was open. Another book was open. Which is the book of life. Uh-huh. And the dead were judged out of those things uh -huh. which were written in the books. Deek, I thought when you dead, you dead. No, sir. You see what's going to take place? The dead, the dead was judged out of this book that was open. And the scriptures say, And the dead was judged out of those things which were written in the books, uh -huh. according to their works. Uh -huh. 
And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. What? And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. You mean to tell me people that die in the sea, ships sink and all of that, and and I know things ate them up. But but, but listen at what Deke is reading. They got to give it up. Amen. See, they got to give it up. What the book say, Deke? And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, And death and hell... Mm -hmm. delivered up the dead which were in them. Mm -hmm. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. But they're dead, did And they were judged. So you got people that believe once you gone, you gone. What Deke read? Not so. Not so. Coming back. Coming back whether you want to come back or not. Coming back, God got something to give you. Some may say, well, I don't want it. <laughs> you got to get it. You're going to have this, this, you know. Now we can turn down things. We could even turn down the word of God. We can turn it down. But at this time, huh, you won't be able to turn down your collar. Amen. Huh? Ain't no turning down. I, yeah, nobody will be able to tell Lord, Lord, I, I, don't, I don't want it. I don't, mm-mm, it's yours. This is what you work for. This is what you want. A lot of times people say, well, God going to put them, put them uh, in, in the lake. Uh, listen, listen. You, people put their self where they go. People put their self where they go. God has just given us an opportunity. That's all he do. Heaven or hell? Well, how can I get to heaven? Here, 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 here. Here go the instruction. That's how I get there. Well, how could I get the lake? Put that down. Put it, we got to put this down. Go on out there. Follow whatever. Broad is the way. It's going to lead you. It's going to take you where you want to go. Destruction. It'll take you right there. <laughs> See? But, you know, nobody want to go to the heaven. Okay, you got to put this down. Put this down. Nobody want to go there. We'll put that down. Deal with out there. Destruction. Deal with men talking about they connected and they not. Amen. They ain't connected. No child of God will fight this. God don't give us the spirit to fight against him. God is not the author of confusion. No child of God going to fight this. Not that every child of God understand this, but they will consider. One scripture said, come now and let us reason together. They will consider. And when light come, they walk in. That's what you and I do. We just simply walked in the light. We seen the light. Hey, go on with light at. Even insects got, got, got more sense than people. Cut your light on at night and see all the bugs that come. You won't see them until you cut the light on now. That's why you have to clean your lights outside sometimes. You know, bugs get there. And why you got to clean them? They'll stay. They'll die. That's the way we need to be. They get, get around the light and it just die. Die around the light. So many bugs around your lights, my love. You look up there, man. Hey, they coming to the light. They doing more than the human family. Human family, the Bible said the human family love darkness. Because <laughs> the deeds is evil. See? Them, 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 them flying bugs and everything. Sometimes I sit on my porch and I, I get to fight. Something flying my way. Why? They, they ain't coming at me. They're coming at that light. But I don't want them to hit me in the midst of you trying to get to it. Sometimes I'll be sitting out there rocking at night, lights on. Next thing you know, something coming. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is until it lands. And I see it. I'm, oh. They ain't coming at me. They, they ain't trying to hold me. They ain't coming, they're coming at that light. See? That's the way the human family should be when it comes to God. Go after that light. Go after that light. 
but people love to judge crowds. Well, they got a whole lot. I know God over. <laughs> okay. A lot of people be at the boom boom this year. Is it of God? You see what I'm saying? A lot of people, you'll see so many of them, I ain't God. You know, back when we was going, you know, if you ain't seen nobody in, in, since high school, you'll see them down there. You're running to all kinds of people you ain't seen in years. And all of you doing the same thing. What is that? Big. Moon pop, moon pop. Over here, over here. All you're doing the same thing. It's a broad way out there. I thank God for the straight way. And God is dealing with us all with different Amen. things. If we be honest, Amen. God is dealing with us all. One scripture said, moreover. Ain't that the, that? Man, how, how good can God get? The word moreover means, he just ain't going to tell you one time. He'll tell you more than one time. Move. Thank God. I, I thank God. We don't have a God that say something one time. And that's it. Cut you off. No, he said, move. He deal with you. Deal with your mind. He deal with your heart. Amen. He'll have you to suffer things. See, Amen. he allow things to come your way so you can suffer. See? Why, why he do that? Well, <sighs> you need to develop. See, we, we, we are people that need development. God is about developing people, see? And if nothing ever happened to you, how you gonna develop? Where your testimony gonna come from? How you gonna testify to something that ain't never happened to you? How you talking about you been through something, you ain't been through nothing? Where's your testimony? How you gonna help somebody else and you ain't been through nothing? You ain't experienced nothing. But you out helping people. Not so. Bible says Christ suffered in the flesh, Arm yourself likewise. See? It's about getting ready for a marriage Amen. that's going to take place. <clears throat> it's going to take place. Whether you're ready or not, it's going to take place. It's going to happen. See, it's just like it was raining out there, whether you got an umbrella or not. This is the way God do. God do what he do whether you prepared or not. Huh? It's raining out there, if you got an umbrella, fine. If you don't, fine. But it ain't going to stop raining because you don't have armor relic. And we the type of people, man, we can walk around here for years. You can count the people that owns an armor relic. And it's been raining since we've been born. But you can count the people that own an armor relic. See? We'd rather wait for a slack. We'd rather do this. Take a chance of slipping up. We'll we, we do all that now. You know, then, then just to pull up an umbrella and just, you know. No, we don't know. Run into something. I know because I done done it. Trying to run in the snow and trying to stop on a dime. Come on now. And, it, and it's the flow wet. I ran and tried to stop on a dime and went to slide and, and went to praying in my mind, Lord, don't, don't let it happen. Don't, do not let me do the Jane Brown split, please. I beg you, don't let it happen. Too old for it. But you slip up and then the thing about slipping up, it ain't no telling how you gonna fall. That's, that's the scary thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you gonna fall, but how? That's the scary thing. And what you gonna tell up when you fall? See? So God has given us an opportunity to prepare. See? And a lot of things that God wants to take away, but we have to let him, let him, let him, let him have it. Let him have Amen. it. He ain't doing you no good. Let him have it. It ain't prospering. It ain't helping you get to the kingdom. Notice, we the type of people, we hold on to stuff that ain't. It just ain't helping us, you know? And the scriptures say that Jesus said that 
the husband man, he, he, he takes away the thing that's not fruitful. He takes that away. And the thing that brings forth fruit, he, he, he purges it. He adds to it. That's, that's what God wants to do with his people, to get us ready. See? Get us ready. It's a way it ain't going to take place. And see, in the book of Ephesians, fifth chapter of the book of Ephesians, and at the 26th verse, listen to this. This is what he want to do. See? And he can't do it unless the human family is hooked to Jesus. Got to be hooked to him. Now, not minimizing. See, you can't say he can't do this, can't do this. Well, you ain't going to hook up. I mean, you know, if a plug don't work, why would you stick the sock? Why, why would you stick a plug in it? Why would you stick something electronically in something that you know don't work? You ain't going to do it. You're going to go and get something that's hot, that'll work. Jesus worked. He died. Three days, he died. What else more can he do? Listen at the scripture. Ephesians chapter 5. Uh-huh. And at verse 26. Uh-huh. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Mm. Say what, Dick? You better read that again, Dick. That he might sanctify and cleanse it mm -hmm. with now, the. Dick, do me a favor. Go up to the 25th verse. Because we want to know what. And the 25th verse will let us know what he's talking about cleaning. Mm -hmm. Husbands, love your wives. Uh -huh. Even as Christ also loved the church. He loved the church. And gave himself for it. He gave himself for the church. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. He wants to wash the church with the word. Amen. See? And the human family is supposed to be in the church. He wants to wash it. See? He wants to wash the church. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures say? That he might present it to himself a glorious church. He wants to present you and I to himself. Glorious church. Not mm -hmm. having. Not having spot. No spot. Or wrinkle. Listen, when you wash your car, brothers, when you wash your car, you don't, you, 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 listen, when you get through washing it, notice how you'll step back and look at it. You ain't going to leave a spot on there. You see a spot, that's the reason why you step back. You look at it. You see a spot. Huh? God said that he present us to himself not having spot or wrinkle or any such blemish. What did the scripture say, Dick? Not having spot or wrinkle uh -huh. or any such thing, uh -huh. but that it should be holy and without blemish. Without blemish. Mm, that's the way God wants you and I. Now, you know, we read the scripture, and you know, half the deep got to reading that, you know, hey, a miracle needs to be performed on you and I. That's going to take a miracle. To present you spotless, without spot or wrinkle, you got to stay plugged up to him. Amen. You get unplugged from him, you ain't, listen, you're going to be spotted. You're going to be wrinkled, and you're going to be a mess. Amen. You've got to stay plugged up to him and let him work the work on you that he intended to work on you. And we look at ourselves, and we say, man, my Lord. Sister Campbell sung the song, it's a fight. My God, but you got to, you got to, you got to keep fighting. I'm, you got to keep fighting. You get down on the ground, listen, try to throw a blow. You know, you down, try, try to throw something. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep calling on God. You got to keep looking toward heaven. But your author, he's the author and the finisher of our faith. You got to keep calling on You can't give up. I don't care how I look. It don't matter how I look. That's why the Bible said we walk by faith and not by sight. Sight will mess you up. Sight will mess you up. 
have to walk by faith and not by sight. Sometimes you go to places, different places, and my God, they, they, they tell you, they close. They, they close. But you, you act like you're retarded. You still go. Huh? You act like you're retarded. You act like you, you deaf and dumb. You ain't heard nothing. Hey, they close. They close. And you end up getting in. By faith, you, you in there. <laughs> you open the door. Walk on in. You walk by faith and not by sight. See, that's the way you do this. My God, you may go and apply for something, and they'll send you a letter. I've had this done years ago. They'll send you a letter. We sorry we couldn't uh, approve it at that time, and it's sitting in the yard. See, it's sitting in the yard. Somebody else approved it. Follow what I'm saying. You walk by faith, not by sight. See, that's the way we walk. You don't look at, see, a lot of times we, we, we look at people and see what they went through and, and this and that, and that's what we, we begin to judge how far we're going to go in God. You can't do that. <clears throat> well, I know, you know, God, God will deal with him, but God, I know God ain't going to deal with me. So a man thinking, so it is. God ain't got no respect to person. See? God ain't got no respect to person. See? But God would never deal with a man where the preacher can't tell him nothing. See? Hmm. God won't do that. God placed him somewhere. My God, and the overseer can't tell him nothing. God, mm mm. That's that confusion. See? The apostles went around, my God, and they told people things. Apollo listened to Paul. See? That's the reason why Paul was able to say, I plant Apollo water. But, but, God, give the increase. See? A lot of time, my God, when it comes to the religious world, all you ever hear, God dealing with me, God dealing with me, God dealing with me, but can't nobody tell them nothing. Amen. <laughs> can't Amen. nobody tell them nothing. But God dealing with me. And God don't knock on your door. Who is it? God. Huh. Need to talk to you. God ain't doing nobody like that. God worked through people. Sit down and read the scripture and pray and ask God for understanding. God give you that. The Bible says, if any man like wisdom, let him ask God. Amen. Give it all men to God. See? He asks God. See? And God give it. See? A lot of times people base they, they walk with God by looking at somebody else. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You can't, you can't look, you can't go by that. One scripture said, by your faith, be it unto you. See? You go to God. You get hooked up. You get connected. Make sure your wire is plugged up. Make sure you plugged up to God. And how can I be plugged up to God? I got to do it through his son. I can't tell the son, skew, 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 skew. I'm trying to get to the father. The father's going to say, I, he's your God. Look at what the book says in the book of Colossians 3.17. Listen to this and pay close attention to what Colossians 3.17 is saying. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, mm -hmm. do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to God and the Father by what? him. Giving thanks to who? God and the Father. 
giving thanks to God and the Father. Giving thanks to God and the Father. By giving him. thanks to God and the Father. <laughs> A lot of time that scripture is misread. Whatsoever you do in word and deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father by him. That ain't what the scripture said. Read it again, D. Giving thanks to God and the Father giving by him. Giving thanks to God and the Father by him. So everything is through Jesus. That's the reason why my God told us, my Lord and my God. See, he knew. He didn't say my Lord and my Father. Mm -mm. My Lord and my God. He knew. So there's so many things that we have to come up to. So many things, brothers and sisters. So many things. This world got a lot to offer. A whole lot. I had to get with my brother last week. We, had, we took a trip. And we looked at some. A lot of them was looking at the game. I don't, I don't really, you know, I don't know who playing. I don't get off into it. I may say, well, you probably never ain't played sport. Yeah, I played sport. I played basketball. And played it well. Because stand up under the goal and dunk. Two hands. <laughs> Short as I am. As they said back then, man, Clyde, he can hop out of a gym. That was my favorite sport, basketball. I play, but I don't get off into it. And my brother was looking at the game and the rest of them, they, we stopped by and they, you know, we was out of town. And he started making statements. Yeah, the cowboys, they, they ain't no cowboys, they need to be called cowgirls. <laughs> and I had to kind of Oh, man, what are you talking about? It's free country. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> they killed Jesus, didn't they? And he ain't touched nobody. He was just talking. See? So you have to use wisdom. Don't do that. Folks will kill you over these games. It have happened. I I'm serious. It have happened. Amen. People get in them deep. They'll kill you over it. Amen. I, I done seen the news where after the game, they got into it, and one killed the other. And when he got to court, it was all about a game. And while they out there fighting, neither the team know either one of them. No, sir. That's how the devil do you. <laughs> while the devil's sitting back laughing. They out there, they out there fighting, they shooting, they killing each other. And uh, the team, none of the team know them. I had to tell him, man, they kill you. They kill you over there. Well, folks sitting up there, they lost. People bet on game. And here you talking about, they're talking like that. They ready to take some of that heat out, that frustration out on something or somebody. And you don't set yourself up like that. Hey. Yeah, this world makes sport out of anything. See, they make sport out of it. They make sport out of who can belch the loudest. It's a sport. They even make, it's a sport where, you know, <laughs> like me and Watt, we, we, we stand between, you know, you got a man here, a man there, Watt standing there, I'm standing here, and we see who can slap each other unconscious. That's a sport. Watt raised back, can't hit me with the fist, got to be the hand. And then I come back, well, that's, that'll be it for me. See, one slap will do, I'm, I'm through. See, but I'm supposed to slap back hard as I can. That's a sport. 
And what is it for? Entertainment. These sports is just entertainment. Amen. Do God people need to be entertained? God didn't call us to entertainment now. But do we need to be entertained? The answer is no. Too much work to be done. Samson, let's get that deep in the book of Judge. 16th chapter of the book of Judges and at the 25th verse. Samson killed a whole lot of people because they made sport of him. Some may say, well, sport is in the Bible? Yeah, it's in there. The world makes sport out of anything. See, anything. They make a sport out of, you know, who could eat the most hot dogs. Folks over in other countries dying. They can't eat one hot dog. And here, they done gave this man a trophy for eating 30 of them. And he's somewhere throwing up. And here go folks in other countries. They can't even eat one hot dog. They can't get a dog. Lord have mercy. What did, what did the scripture say, D? You, you, you see how this world mm -hmm. is. See, we just comparing the world to the things of God. Listen at the book of Judges, 16th chapter at the 25th verse. And it came to pass uh -huh. when their hearts were merry mm -hmm. that, they call, that they said, call for Samson. Call for Samson. That he may make a sport. That, wait, wait, spell sport. S-P-O-R-T. Isn't that the sport that we deal with? You know, I mean, the sport that they say is sport. Mm -hmm. Same sport. Just a different sport they made sport with. Mm -hmm. And they called for Samson out of the prison house. Mm-hmm. And he made them sport. Mm -hmm. And they set him between the pillars. Mm -hmm. And Samson said unto the lad that held him by the hand, mm -hmm. Suffer me. Listen, su suffer me. That I may fill the pillars whereupon the house standeth. He, he didn't like the idea what they were doing to him. They made sport of him. Mm -hmm. That I may lean upon them. Mm -hmm. Now the house was full of men and women. Mm -hmm. And all the lords of the Philistines were there. Mm -hmm. And there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women. Wow. Mm -hmm. That beheld while Samson made sport. Uh -huh. And Samson called unto the Lord mm -hmm. and said, O oh Lord, remember me. O oh Lord, my Lord, remember me. I pray thee. They play with me. They done made sport of me. Remember me. Mm -hmm. And strengthen me. Strengthen me. I pray thee. Mm -hmm. Only this once, O oh God. All I'm asking, just one time. Mm -hmm. That I may be at once avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. They, they done took out both of my eyes. And they playing with me now. They done made me sport. Mm -hmm. And Samson took hold of, of the two middle pillars. Uh -huh. Upon which the house stood. Uh-huh. And on which it was borne up uh -huh. of the one with his right hand uh -huh. and of the other with his left. Uh -huh. And Samson said, uh -huh. let me die with the Philistines. My, 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 my. And he bowed himself with all his might and the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. My Lord. So the death which he slew at his death. So the dead which he slew at his death mm -hmm. were more than they which he slew in his life. He killed some folks. He killed some folks behind that. It, my God, he told the building down. He asked him, said, put me between the pillars. Say, put me between there and I'm going to go before God. See, I'm going go to go before God. Uh, and, and I, I pray God that he give me enough strength to tear, just tear the thing down and killed a lot of people. See? So when you look out at this world, <laughs> this world makes sport of practically anything. Listen, how is it that two boxers could get in the ring and mix it up? But before they get in the ring, they pray. Each one of them asks God to help them to knock each other out. They're going before God, Lord, help, help me. I want to knock him out. I want to knock him out in the third round. 
Then the other man, he praying for something else. Lord, I want to win this bite. I want to win this. Which one of the prayers God is hearing? Which one of his God is listening to? Damn. Neither. Damn. Because the weapon of our warfare has not come. Amen. See? But might. Now, they go in the ring and they do some damage now. You know, they do some damage. See? Now, God's people don't need that type of environment. The weapon of all warfare has come. It's not come, but it's spiritual. Ain't nothing spiritual about that. Ain't nothing spiritual about that now. See? Now, they knock, a man get knocked unconscious. Sometimes fighters die. Sometimes paralyzed. You ever wonder nobody go to jail? But you do this outside the rain, you going to jail. Why nobody go to jail? That's sport. See, that's sport. Men get in the ring and wrestle and they fight and they kick each other and, uh, and break each other's nose and break each other's arm. Nobody go to jail <laughs> because it's sport. God's people don't need entertainment. I'm, 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 a, I'm just being straight up. God, people don't need entertainment. See, we got enough. We, I mean, if we be honest, we, we got enough. We got a lot of work to do. See, the scripture said the book's going to be open. See, nobody going to heaven with a football. Nobody be in heaven playing basketball. All that stuff is earthly. It's here. See? All that stuff is here. Nobody be up there with that. See? It won't be who gonna win the Super Bowl. That stuff earthly. See? But it's a lot of entertainment here upon this and we have to ask God, lead and guide me. Jesus prayed to prayer. Don't take them out of the world. Don't, don't take them, but keep them from the evil. Keep them from it. See? And God is doing that. God is doing that. See? My little children, they was coming up, my boys, they played sports. I, I let them play sports. I, I, ain't, I ain't bothered. I, hey, hey. I can't expect for them to go get a Bible and sit down and read it like me. I'm a grown man. You can't expect for a child to do stuff like that. A child ain't going to do that. Paul come along and said, when I was a child, I done childish things. But when I became a man, I, you know, put it down. See? The older they got, the older they got, I sit down and talk to them. See? Next thing you know, they call, some of them call me Pop. Pop, I'm through with that. I'm through. I said, you know, it's a corrupt industry. It's corrupt. See? That's the reason why God's people don't need no entertainment. See? You have to be careful even looking at <laughs> movies. I, I'm, I'm serious. This word, listen, you got to fight. Like Sister Campbell said, you, you going to have to fight. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm telling you, we in a war. You got to fight. Me and Sister Camel sitting up, you know, I, I'm, I'm one, I don't, you know, really watch TV. TV do more watching me, because I go to sleep, see? I watch the news, see what's going on, and I, but I, I, I'm, I'm looking, and two men kissing. Two women kissing. And they were really corrupt. And what I supposed to get up and say, man, that was a good movie, was it? A little levy levy the whole lump, was it? That's the reason why I said God, it's going to take God to work a miracle on you and I. I'm, I'm, I'm just being straight up. <laughs> and he can do it, but you got to stay plugged up. You got to stay plugged up. See, if you stay plugged up, you'll be surprised at what God can do in your life and do for you.
you'd be surprised because he's the creator. See, we get to the point, if we don't see no way out, if we don't see no strength to do, we feel as though it can't be done. Well, that's not true. That's not true. You're going to operate off his strength, but you got to be plugged up. See, that's the reason why Paul said, you know, well, I, I besought the Lord Christ. See, about a thorn being in his flesh. And God told him, said, my grace is sufficient for you. Amen. In time of weakness, that's when you're strong. See, what, 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 what was God telling? Paul, you're going you to operate off my strength. It ain't going to be your strength that did. See, notice, take inventory of yourself. It wasn't your strength that delivered you. How in the world are you going to be delivered from something you enjoy doing? How are you going to do that? <clears throat> Where that strength gonna come from? We are the problem. God is the solution to the problem. The solution is never found in the problem. You got to go get the solution for the problem. People waiting on this to come down to them. It'll never come down. Praise God. It'll never come down. This ain't gonna come to your lifestyle. It never, never. If this moved, you couldn't trust it. If what Deke is reading, tomorrow he opened the same book, go to the same chapter, same verse, and it's saying something else, <clears throat> I can't trust in that. Today he reading, I'm saved. Tomorrow he reading, I'm doomed. I can't, I can't trust in that. Why? It the moved. That's why we can't add, can't take away. You leave God's word alone and you come up to it. Then you know, you know that you have passed from death unto life. Because why? What you're going after didn't move. You had to move toward it. You have to get your life in order with it. It ain't coming down to us. Praise God. What did the scripture say, Deacon? We're going to get out of here. Um, judges. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, we have to come up to God's word. God's word ain't going to come down to us. Mm -mm. No. No, sir, no, ma'am, it ain't going to happen. And this is the problem with most of the religious world. They want God to change for them. God ain't changing for us. We have to change for him. Amen. God ain't changing for us. He don't have to. He created us. We didn't create him. We're supposed to be for his glory. <clears throat> What did the book say, Dick? Judges chapter 16 at verse 30. Uh-huh. And Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might, and the house fell upon the Lord mm -hmm. and upon all the people that were therein. Mm -hmm. So the death which he slew, so the dead which he slew at his death mm -hmm. were more than they which he slew in his life. My, 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 my. <clears throat> They sitting up playing sport with him. That's really why the world make a sport out of anything and everything. It's a sport. An eating contest. God people don't get off into that. I don't want to see nobody sitting up just, just, just eating, eating. And here folks in the other country ain't got nothing to eat and they playing. I don't see that. I don't see another man whoop up on another man and he, he, he bleed. And, and I don't see that. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't get no entertainment from it. I don't see it. Then the sport announcer, yeah, he, oh, oh, he done broke his nose. He done broke his nose. I know he in pain, but that's sport. And when he get through, 
Sometimes they can't hardly see. They hug each other. Eyes about to close. He don't know who to hug. They get down there fighting him, my God, and, and they get hit in the head and all the kind of carrying on. And then while he's down there, the rail break it up, and he grabbed the rail. He done got confused. Hold on, he done grabbed the rail. He done grabbed the rail. He done got confused. He think he's still fighting because he almost knocked unconscious. Is that the entertainment that God wanted people, you know, to be entertained with? We talking about we talking about the book now. We talking about Amen. the book. We talking about world versus God stuff. See? Let's go back to the book of John, 15th chapter, and we're gonna we're gonna end it with this. That's the reason why Jesus said, I am. St. John, 15th chapter. I am. Verse 1. Uh-huh. I am the true vine. I am the true vine. And my father is the husband. Uh-huh. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Every branch in me, this is what mm. I want God to do, my God, in my life. Every branch in me, my God, and I mean that. Every branch in me that don't bring forth fruit for the kingdom, he take, take it, away. it away. Take it away from me. And the scriptures say, And every branch that bear fruit, he purgeth it. And any good thing about me, purge it, that I do more good stuff. See? The more good you do, the more good you want to do. See? And the scriptures say, That it may bring forth more fruit. Uh-huh. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. I got to be clean. I, 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 the word. Give me the word. Sometimes the word come and it hurt. It hit. Sometimes we'd be like, ooh. Sometimes Murray be preaching, my God, I'd be sitting back there, like, yeah, y'all don't see. I'd be, mm. Mm. But I have to say, amen. 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 He'd be preaching things and I can't, whoa, hey, 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 hey. I can't, I can't do that. That's wrong spirit. I have to look up toward heaven. Thank God. Praise God. Praise God. Because that's the only thing going to clean us up. God's eternal word. I'm telling you. And see, if you already clean, you know, you clean of everything. You know, then, huh, I got, I got a million dollar question for you. You already clean, you don't need the book. Everything about you is 100. <clears throat> then the Bible said that wasn't no gal found in his mouth. He didn't say he is and yours. He said he is. Then the Bible also said, let the word of God be true and let every man be what? Ah. No, the only thing going to clean us up, God's word. See, God's word. Now, the devil take God's word and twist it and turn it and have folk believe in all kind of stuff. A preacher come telling me, some years back, a preacher come telling me, well, when God fill a man with the gift of the Holy Ghost and fill a woman with the gift of the Holy Ghost, they can't sin, they cannot sin. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See? Don't tell me that. Then if that be the case, why is Jesus sitting on the right hand of the Father making an intercession for us? Amen. Why, what, what are you doing now? They can't see him. Amen. See? They can't see him. And then he went on and got personal. And when, see, when God feel me, oh, okay, so God didn't feel me now. <laughs> see, my ears weigh words now. You know, you, you keep talking now. My ears weigh words. And, and, I, and I got a million dollar question for you that you won't be able to answer. See? So he didn't know that I had, I had one loaded because I'm, I'm listening to him. Well, you know, I'm going to say this. When God filled me, I, okay, okay, come on with it. When God filled me, there wasn't no sin in me. I, and I asked him, I said, let me ask you something. 
when you pray, in your prayer, have you ever asked God for forgiveness? And if you ask God for forgiveness, what was it for? Righteousness or unrighteousness? He starts smiling. Hey, man. Okay, then. Go ahead on. Go ahead on. See? Because I see the unrighteousness in you right now. See? Go ahead on. See? No. When we pray, we ask God, have mercy on us. What you need mercy for? You ain't done nothing wrong. Well, you ask God to forgive you for your, you, you, everything about you is 100. <clears throat> no. Mm -mm. We ask God for forgiveness. That's the reason why I asked him. In your prayer, have you ever, do you ever ask God for forgiveness? And before he can ask, if you do, then what are you asking God to forgive you for, righteousness or unrighteousness? Because you shouldn't have to ask God to forgive you for righteousness. That's his will, that you do righteousness. And he couldn't answer. See? But the devil have people thinking that they so much more than this. See, you can set your own self up for failure. In the things of God, you can't put nobody on no shelf. So I may say, why? They're going to eventually fall down on you and hurt you. People get caught up in other people. They get caught up in the ability of a man. But God gives abilities. Amen. People take their ability and do whatever they want. Listen, you can take your ability and do pretty much what you want to do. God gives you that choice. Deep play keyboard, and he do a good job. He don't have to play spiritual songs. He play other songs. But if he decide, I'm, I'm going to go and play rock and roll, God ain't going to take the gift from him. But he's going to have to answer. <laughs> you see, when this life is over, he's going to have to answer. Why he flipped the script. See, you know, we got singers in here. A lot of singers singing spiritual songs. You can sing rock and roll, but that ain't what God said to do. See? Ephesians 5 and 19, and we out of here, deep. That ain't what God said to do. See? But if we don't do what God said to do, we're going to have to answer. There's so many singers. So many singers. Sound good. But go on the opposite way of God. God don't get no glory from it. What they doing, it ain't helping the kingdom. What did the scripture say, Dick? Speaking to yourselves in psalms uh -huh. and hymns uh -huh. and spiritual songs. See, spiritual songs. Mm -hmm. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. You see what I'm saying? And this is what Dick do on his keyboard. See? Spiritual songs, making melody in his heart, making melody in the sanctuary of God. See, he ain't over there playing uh, Chevy Checker stuff. See, he ain't over there playing none of this rock and roll stuff where you can shake a leg. See, <clears throat> because that's something we ain't never, you know, you, you don't forget the stuff. It, uh, <laughs> it's hid. It's here. You don't, you don't forget it. See? You don't forget it. See? And God is working on us all. Cleaning us up. See? Cleaning us up. See? And while we out in the world, you know, Jesus prayed. He said, I, I, Father, I pray, don't take them out the world. Don't, don't, I, I know the world is wicked, but don't take them out. But keep them. Keep them from the evil. Sometimes I'm driving, and I hear stuff that I used to play when I was drinking. See? And I used to dance. I can't, I can't put the car in park and get out there and shake a leg. I can't, I can't do it. See, 
the prayer that Jesus prayed to his father, the father, the father, you know, he, he did it. He, he keeping me. He keeping y'all. See, he keep me. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't shake a leg. See, if I shake a leg, it's got to be spiritual. It's got to be for the Lord. Can't be for rock and roll. Can't be for that. See, can't be for that. I go and I hear all kinds of stuff. And y'all hear all kinds of stuff. You can't get out there with the world. Now where's the difference? The Bible said that we put a difference between holy and unholy. Clean and unclean. God want a difference. Look at the religious world now. You can't even hardly tell. Who hooked up to God and who ain't hooked up to God? Because everybody's saying they hooked up. <laughs> everybody's saying they saved. Everywhere you go, folks, hey, I'm saved too. Years ago, I was working, I was telling the man, I said, yeah, man, you know, I'm living, described to live a saved life. He said, yeah, me too. He's smoking. I got the bag off and, you know, I'm trying to, I'm, you know, I don't need to smoke on me, you know. But everybody confessing, they say. Everybody confessing, they got the Holy Ghost. And they'll crank that thing up on you. Crank it up in a minute. Next thing you know, they, they going off with some tongue. And then notice, they stop it when they get ready. They'll go off in a tongue looking around. And the devil said, oh, okay, that's enough. Oh. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I ain't the Holy Ghost I received. I couldn't stop it. I couldn't, get, I couldn't crank it up. I couldn't crank up. The Bible said, as he give utterance, I couldn't crank that up. I couldn't stop it. It came on me, my God, it fell up on me. It fell up on me. Took my hands and started clapping them. I ain't, that ain't never happened to me. Took my hands and started clapping them fast. And I couldn't believe it. I said, my Lord. Well, before that happened, I went to a church, and I'm thinking the man is hooked up, you know, hooked up. And he had me down there saying, hallelujah. And the word of God said, he that call on the name, the name, hallelujah is a praise. But he had me, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah, till I broke off, broke out in the face. You would have thought I, was, I had freckles. And I ain't never had freckles. I broke out all around the cheek, red. Looking like Santa Claus, red. Broke out. I know him and his wife probably killed themselves last. Probably got among themselves and said, boy, I tell you, boy, he turned red, didn't he? I thought he was going to fall out. Eels got red. <laughs> he turned to all kind of colors. People make mockery of you. I'm telling you, <clears throat> people laugh at you. But it wasn't long after that, God filled me with the real spirit. And when God filled me, huh, I started seeing things, my Lord. I started seeing people that said they was hooked up to God and they had, and the and Spirit let me know, no, that ain't one of mine. I, what? No, that ain't one of mine. I'm like, my Lord. Then that's when the fight came. They started fighting. Well, ain't nothing wrong with this, ain't nothing wrong with that. And I'm trying to tell them, no, no, uh -uh, no, no. It's a difference. The reason why the fight came, they ain't hooked up. They ain't hooked up. See, me and Deke don't fight each other. Not, not, not by this. 
No, we can't. We ain't allowed. We ain't allowed. Hmm. He believed what I believe. I believe what he believed. Where's the fight? We believe the same thing. Amen. <laughs> we don't want a car. We believe the same thing. <clears throat> See? And we'll help us one to another. See? But we, we, we plan on going to the same place. See? Now, if we, you know, if, if we plan on going to a different place, that's going to be a fight. If I ain't hooked up, it's going to be a fight. If he ain't hooked up, it's going to be a fight. Because we got different mindsets. See, we're looking at the scripture totally different. One looking at it carnally and one looking at it spiritually. That go to fight. That go to fight. So if you're waiting on family members to see what you see, you may be lost. You may not make it. Because who's to say that God going to cause them to see what you see and cause them to understand what you understand? Who's to say? Who knows the mind of God that they may instruct him? Who ever known that Saul would be an apostle? Nobody but God. Amen. Ananias, when God was uh, consulting Ananias about uh, uh, Saul, Ananias, oh, no, no, I haven't heard much evil, that man. Now, listen, you're talking to God that's, that's got all power, able to do all things, but he said, I, oh, no, I, I heard much evil, that man. And God had to tell Ananias, listen, he's a changed man. See, I want you to baptize him. He's a changed man. Who would have picked Saul to be an apostle? Not me. Not you. All that that he done? Oh, no. But see, God know the hearts of men. That's the reason why even people that we see out here, you can't, listen, never say where they going. They may come in, you may go out. Bible said judge nothing before it's time. You don't know who you, listen, you don't know. One scripture said uh, to be careful. Some have entertained angels unawareness. You don't know who you're dealing with. I'm telling you, you don't, and you don't know who God's dealing with. And tell, you pick this up. This is, this is the true test. Then you'll know. But when we see people, my God, people may be doing so bad that it look like they're going to uh, uh, get out of here. God can turn that situation around. Amen. People get on drugs and, and you think, oh, oh man, dang. Whew, they ain't going to make it. Who is you to say they ain't going to make it? You can't say. They may make it and you may not make it. See? I've seen people on fire for God. I mean, on fire for God. Out here smoking crack. Well, what do you do? You pray for them. You keep praying for them. That's what you do. Don't put your mouth on them. Pray for them. See? Bible says, he which is spiritual ought to restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering who? Themselves. That pipe can get in your mouth too now. No, you ain't got special lips that can't wrap around a pipe. Your lips ain't so special you can't wrap it around a bill can or bill ball. See, it's the grace of God. It's not by our power. It's the grace of God. It's his grace. It's his mercy. He had mercy on us. Then we have to look around at others and have mercy on them. I pray for them. Why? Somebody prayed for you and I. Somebody said, well, I, I, my dad and mama, they wasn't about praying. They were my uncles, I don't know none of them that was. Hey, Jesus prayed for you. Jesus prayed for you. See? And God answered his prayer. God answered it and saved you. 